Self-awareness is a superpower. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. This pick a card reading is about blessings that are coming into your life. We have the summer solstice coming up on June 20th. Um, you might see this video after that, but that doesn't stop the abundance of energy that will coming will be coming into your reality. And I am excited to be able to deliver some of the messages to you. So let's get started. Um, I laid out cards for you. Um, Ace of Hearts, which is number one. Um, two of hearts which is number two and three of hearts which is number three and i specifically chose the hearts card because with the um new moon with the new moon and this is a magical new moon coming in the new moon is also bringing in newness and abundance into our lives so i specifically pick the hearts card because it's going to be in the zodiac sign cancer so that's going to mean newness in your home in your family in your relationships or wherever cancer is in your zodiac sign what's in the fourth house and also where your moon is in any planets that's there the zodiac sign that's there because the moon rules cancer so this could be a new perspective a new perspective is all we need sometimes to change our whole world around so i am super excited to deliver that message for you guys so let's get started group number one my ace of hearts people and this is the message, you know, for the blessings that is coming into your life, especially coming in with this new moon and this summer solstice. So immediately looking across the board, like I really love how this message is looking for you guys. Um, sorry, I'm reading the cards facing me and I'm on this side and trust me, they look great. So immediately what I see repeated here is the sword energy. So automatically this tells me with the ace of swords here that there's going to be a new perspective coming into your life, a new way of seeing things. And this new way of seeing things, it's almost like a, a strike of lightning, a flash of lightning. And just from that flash of lightning, it's like you come to a realization that basically there was never anything to really worry about. You know, I feel like your recent past is of you not being able to sleep at night and not being able to sleep at night because your nerves, you know, your nerves have been all over the place because obviously you know as far as you are concerned there's a lot there was a lot to worry about there was a lot to to consider and with this new way of seeing things this new perspective that's coming into your world with this new summer solstice it's it's like basically you're gonna you're going to be able to see things clearly it's like the competition that you thought once exists you'll realize that there is no competition because you are uniquely you and you're going to embrace your differences and what makes you special. And with the King of Wands in the reverse position, talking about taking action and being brave about the action that you're taking, it's like with this new idea that's coming into you, it's like you're going to now see how you can go about doing what you thought wasn't possible before. So just overall, um, looking at this reading, I feel like for a while you guys have been stuck in a rut, trying to figure out how to make ends meet or trying to figure out a way to do something. And with the Daughter of Cups card here, you know, upright in the upright position, you know, I, I see emotional peace. I see you being able to go within yourself and having a wish fulfilled because that's what this card, this nine of cups is saying over on this end that a wish will be fulfilled for you. Things will be working out in your favor. And this nine of swords in reverse says, yeah, you'll see that everything that you were worrying about before 
is not even worth worrying about. You'll realize that it was all in your head. <clears throat> and something that's coming up for you guys, that motion is extremely important. Motion will help you to balance your emotions. So I see this group with this group. It is vital that you get more exercise. It is vital that you get out there and you get yourself moving because what you might realize that is like while you're in the home, in your head, you know, things feel stagnant. Things feel overwhelming. Things feel like they cannot get any worse. And the minute you get up and you get outside with this five energy and you start moving your arms, moving your feet, it's like you realize that it was never that bad. It's like negative energy likes stillness, you know, where once you start moving, whether you're laughing through comedy or stretching or doing yoga or whatever, it's like the energy has to move around and renew itself. And because you guys chose the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Hearts card, the Ace card talk is associated with the number one energy and the number wow you know the ace energy repeated twice and but this is swords that's hearts which is cups and basically the ace energy is all about new beginnings it's like having a new idea or in this case it's like having a new feeling a new desire and desires are extremely important because they're what motivates us to get up and to get out there and to achieve our goals. And with the new moon energy being in Cancer, I feel like when it comes to your home situation, your relationship situation, your family situation, it's like you get that new idea. And that new idea, like I said, gives you that new burst of energy. So basically what's new in your life is it's like you might be starting a new home-based business and it's extremely important that you trust yourself when it comes to this home-based business and don't let fears of competition and you know there's already more like this out there don't let that get to you as long as you are original and whatever it is that you are doing and you're solving a problem you have to be successful you know what i'm saying so with this with the summer solstice coming in and the new moon energy, I see you finally having that new perspective. And it's it's like I can't I can't stress enough how important it is, you know, for our inner world to match our outer world. A lot of the times we say, you know, life is not fair. I don't believe life gives me what I believe I can have because I believe I could have better, but my outer world doesn't match that. And I feel like, no, life does give us what we believe we can have. Like life isn't biased. The universe isn't biased. The universe doesn't love one group of people more than it loves another. It's just over time, we've been conditioned. We've been conditioned to believe that, you know, when we die and go to heaven, that's when our blessings will come. That's when our luck will come. That's when we'll walk on streets of gold. And that is not true. Your blessings, your luck, and your opportunity, and opportunity wants to enter into your life right now. And I feel like for the last few months, you know, or even it, since 2020, it's like, it seems like you may have felt like 2020 wasn't your year. And I'm so happy to let you know that that is not true. Basically, what needed to change for you for 2020 to start giving you more of what you deserve was your perspective, your outlook, the way you see yourself in the world. And with this new moon, um, summer solstice energy, basically, there's a shift in your world and you are able to see things differently. And with that, you have new desire and you have a new goal and you have something new that you want to share with the rest of the world. And I feel like we're ready for it. You know, it's like finally for the longest, it's like, I don't know if this group have been experiencing, you know, some really some major depression. And because of that depression, it's been hard to just get up and put clothes on and get outside. And maybe that's why 
I mentioned the importance of getting outside and taking a walk and, you know, allowing the energy to move around because like I said, negative energy likes to dwell in one place and be still where it's time for you to get out of bed. It's time for you to get off the couch, get from under the blanket, go take a walk take a walk, listen to comedy, create some kind of a routine for yourself. But finally, you guys are going to see a shift. It's like finally you'll see that this year was your year all along and your focus has been in the wrong place. But you know, no path is the wrong path because every path is guiding us to our into ourselves, to our higher selves. But, you know, June is halfway through the year. And I feel like, you know, at least by the, by the beginning of July, you'll start to see things really turning around for you. And I feel like you guys have already seen that. Like by the time you catch this message, it's like you've already felt like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. You already feel like, you know, something shift in your reality. And that is the case. Something did shift in your reality. A weight was lifted off your shoulders. This is a timeless reading, but right now Mercury is in retrograde. And Mercury is in retrograde in the areas of our lives, similar to where the new moon is going to hit, exactly where the new moon is going to hit, cancer energy. So it's like the home energy, the mothering energy, all of that will be emphasize for us all and i feel like you know our mommy issues and you know how we like to be nurtured and how we like to nurture others those things are going to amplify for us with the transits that's happening right now especially with mercury and retrograde slowing down so close to the earth and amplifying the energy here it's like we can't help but revisit certain childhood memories and things like that but do not allow those memories or experiences to cause you to get stuck back in a rut where you feel like life isn't working for you and you get into that mental space where you start manifest differently into your reality you know, allow it to show you things that, you know, you might be able to do some work on, do some reflection on without judgment so you can clear that out to keep attracting more. But the, but overall, the blessing that's coming into your world, group number one, is like basically energy is going to start flowing again. For a while, you felt like nothing was flowing, nothing was moving. And now things are going to get start flowing again. It's almost like a pipe, you know, or a hose getting a, a, a kink in it or a fold in it and the water is backed up. So it's like nothing is coming through. So it's like everything is dying from dehydration and drought and whatnot. And that same water is the water that you use to water your dreams. So it's like for a while, it's like nothing was happening in your favor, but it's like that opening has finally it's like there's finally an opening and everything is flowing through and your wish is fulfilled you know things are going to be moving again everything that you said you wanted to do or you believe that is that was possible for you is possible for you and now you're going to have that state of mind in order to go after that. And you won't be intimidated by the competition because you'll realize you have no competition because you're neat. The only way a competition exists is if you allow yourself to compare yourself to others and try to do what other people are doing, which in fact, that's not the case with you because a new thought, a new way of being and doing has came into your reality and it's original. So it's extremely important that you trust it, group number one. Thank you so much for, um, thank you so much for, you know, doing this reading with me. I really appreciate it. I would love to hear from you in the comment box below. Please drop me at Ace of Heart. You know, you could even write it out, Ace of Heart, or one, the number one, and a heart in the comment box below to let me know that you're still here with me because I really appreciate reading for you. Um, please like this video if you haven't already, share it with someone who you think will appreciate it, subscribe to the channel, 
if you haven't already. And I look so forward to seeing you in the next video. Group number two, for those of you who chose the two of hearts, let's get your message going. So this pile is also for me. Um, so whatever I read for you is a message also directed to me because I too chose pile number two, the two of hearts. So group number two, wow, we have an interesting layout here on the table. And this is about the blessings that is coming in for us with this, um, basically with all this brand new energy that's coming in with the solstice and the new moon and whatnot. Mercury's currently retrograding, so all that plays a part in this. And I said it in the introduction in case you missed it. Mercury is retrograding in Cancer, though, so that's causing us to reflect on basically our our home life, our mother, her mommy issues, um, our emotions, our desires, how we like to nurture ourselves and things like that. And for the simple fact that we chose number two. Number two in numerology talks about basically bringing, um, it's like, it's like two different things, two separate things coming together and being one. You know, the number two energy is very nurturing. It's caring. It's magnetic. It's feminine. Feminine meaning it's introverted. It gains energy from within. And just looking at the layout, I feel like those of us who chose this pile are introverts all day. You know, the number two is connected to the second chakra. It's like that gut feeling. But at the same time, we also have that knowing because I'm looking at the hangman here and the hierophant here at both ends of the message and what's at the very center of our message is the king of swords and the and the and the seven of swords at the very center of our message and with the king of swords in reverse and the seven of swords in the upright position like this is a very interesting reading for us group number two talking about blessings and things coming into our world so yes being that we chose the number two energy, to me, the number two energy also talks about putting an idea in motion. So the number one energy is the father. The number one energy is masculine, meaning it's direct, it's outward moving, it's like extroverted energy. So the number one would be like an idea. And then the number two is an idea in motion, which gives birth to the number three energy, with the, which is the creative self-expression, which is known as the child. So because we chose group, because we chose pile number two, this tells me that, you know, possibly, you know, some of you similar to me might have some things that you're working on within yourself, some ideas in motion and some of, and some and some of your ideas may be things that you're trying to manifest into your life. You know, you may have a vision board and you wanna manifest more love, more romance, more family and different things like that into your life. And I feel like the blessing that's coming for us, group number two, um, is we're going to be able to see things a lot clearer. You know, because a lot of us are empaths, it's like we tend to see potential in people. And because of potential, we've gotten ourselves in a lot of trouble in the past, ending up in relationships, friendships, and con connections that didn't serve our higher or greater self. You know, but it's like, again, we looked into the potential. And then another thing with the number two energy is that the number two energy tends to be very selfless. And because the number two energy is extremely selfless and nurturing it's like it tends to be like it's almost like with the number two energy there it's like a lot of the times we will attract narcissistic people in our lives and again we see the potential in them so we don't allow ourselves to see them as who they truly are
you know, so we show up and we serve and we be who they want us to be. But then after a while, we become comfortable and the real part of us comes out and we realize that, whoa, this is no longer working for me. So I feel like the blessings coming into our lives is that basically we finally gain that patience to like the hangman patiently waiting, you know, like this bat here seeing into the dark. And then this hierophant on this mountaintop also in the dark. And they're at both ends of the card. So I feel like our intuition and our psychic abilities, group number two, will heighten with the summer solstice coming in. And I feel like it's extremely important to keep a journal. I mention this all the time. And the reason why I do, because that is how I get my sanity. It's like, you know, that's what validates me and confirms to me that yes, my intuition is on point. My premonitions are on point. You know, that's where you'll go back to and validate yourself, write your dreams down and things like that. Because group number two, I feel like when it comes to our empathic abilities, it's at a certain level that it's hard to relate to other people. It's hard to express yourself completely to other people without fear of them thinking that maybe something's wrong with you maybe schizophrenic this that or the next even though you didn't tell anybody you're hearing voices and even if you are someone who you know hear things that's connected to your psychic ability like that's your ability and you know people who don't understand because of their fear and their negative energy they can turn it into something more than it is and make you fear yourself and your own abilities and that's why journaling is extremely important like for years i feared my own abilities because my family couldn't relate and they would make me feel like something is wrong with me. And I feel like low key, that's because they were jealous because they weren't getting premonitions and able to see the future the way how we can group number two. So I feel like the blessings coming in for us is the clarity, being able to see people and situations for what they really are and no longer allowing people to pull wools over our eyes or pulling wools over our own eyes so that we can subject ourselves to things that we wouldn't normally subject ourselves to. I feel like also what's coming for us, blessings that's coming for us is a load that we were carrying that we didn't need to carry. It's like it's like this load is going to dissolve. I don't feel like we have to drop the load in order to having to come back and pick it up again. I feel like that load is just going to dissolve and it's going to work itself out. And when it comes to our financial situation, it's like there's going to be a sudden and unexpected change when it comes to our financial situation. <clears throat> and basically say, for example, you've been working on a side hustle for a long time. It's like a sudden and unexpected situation will come in. And there might be a situation where someone may be trying to pull a wool over your eye or be manipulative and slick, but you don't have to worry about that because with the hangman on this end and the hermit on the other end, this one can see through the sea in the dark. And this one is standing at the mountaintop with the light. So basically each of them have the ability to see in the dark, to see what's coming. So trust your new heightened awareness. It's like with everything that's been happening in our world, a major shift has happened. And it's like downloads and different things like that will be coming into our reality. It's like you're going to just start knowing things and not know how you know or why you know. And I feel like September is extremely significant for this group. It's like an opportunity or something is going to present itself to you that's going to happen in September. And when this opportunity presents itself to you, challenge yourself and go for it. You know what I mean? Don't hold yourself back. Again, idea in motion. Challenge yourself, go for it. And don't worry about the tricksters because I feel like, you know, you might be dealing with some tricksters and people like that. And it might be people in our lives that we truly care about. And then it might just be new people who are, you know, like who want to test you to see if what you say, you know, if, if you're really real or if there's any truth to it. But, you know, like this hierophant, this hermit on the top of the hill, you know, you have a bird's eye view of everything. You have a clear vision of everything. You're able to see through the dark. 
And with this five of pentacles, I feel like, you know, you're going, we're going to be walking away from traditional ways of doing things. Basically, it's like we're going to challenge ourselves. Like at first, it's going to be scary and we're going to want to convince ourselves that we should stick with the old way of doing things, you know, but we're going to get to the point where we're like, you know, what? screw that. That's no longer working. The negative thinking isn't working. Um, being practical is important and is a part of life, but I have to trust my intuition because, you know, the creator has never steered me wrong before. So why would this time be any different you know and it's important that you remind yourself that as you're moving forward so you can open the gate so that the blessings can move forward and into your reality i feel like with this card um the two of hearts above the five of sword if you're watching this and you're single um don't jump with the first relationship opportunity that presents itself to you because I feel like it's not going to be genuine and looking at the rose here um and the and one of the petals falling I feel like you might find yourself in a situation where someone is trying to smooth you over to to rock you to sleep only because it's beneficial to them so say for a while you've been putting a lot of work in you've been working on some projects you've been hitting the pavement daily and consistently been making progress with the things that you've been giving your attention to you know basically um putting your action in motion and i feel like someone is going to see that and basically it's like they're going to be able to to try to to try to tell you what they believe you want to hear in order to convince you to to say work with them or give them a chance romantically or whatnot but you know how you'll know this isn't the situation for you and guys i am getting goosebumps as i read i don't think you could see that in the camera the reason why this isn't the situation for you is because they're going to try to hurry you up they're going to be in a rush. Do not allow anyone to show up and rush you. They're in a rush for a reason and you need no parts of it. And if you allow enough time to go by to, to observe this person clearly and see their true intuition and what they're really up to, their true intentions and what they're really up to, you'll see that it's like this person is like a two-sided sword or a two-headed snake. So say you're someone who's really into the spiritual world, you know, you believe in positive thinking and you get up every day and you do the work, you do your meditation and you do your yoga and you've been consistent when it comes to your practice. It's like this person is gonna come off as if they're about that life, but then their actions and the words they speak will confirm that they're not about that life. And if you allow yourself to listen to them clearly, they will tell you who they are. You know, I don't want to say, oh, this is an air sign. I feel like this can be anyone who appears to have good communication, you know, because a lot of the times a reader will say, oh, this is an air sign. It might be an earth sign, but they have a a air rising and you don't know they have an air rising or they have an air moon and you don't know they have an air moon or they have Mars um, in an air sign and you don't know that. So it's like you write someone off when it could be them. So I'm giving you personality traits. Basically, this person is very pessimistic. It's like, how could you be teaching something that you don't believe in type of person? You know, why are you in a such a rush type of person? Why do you believe that the creator will take care of everything, but you feel like you need to take everything into your own hands type of person? So yes, the person for you to avoid if you're single moving forward is a person that will try to rush you along, listen to what they're saying, they'll tell you who they are, and also the type of person whose actions and words don't match up. But I don't have to worry about us group number two because we can see from both ends. We can see from both ends. It's like basically we're Ray Charles to the bullshit. Like 
We can see it, smell it, call it. And with this person, you know, it could be a male or female in your life. Don't waste your time and call them out. Don't waste your time and call them out. I'm finding that that's what you do with toxic people. Don't waste your time and call it. Because like, I remember once I met this guy and he was full of dog doo-doo. And I looked at him and I said, you know what? I'm not even gonna call you out and tell you what you're doing because I don't want you to fix it to trick the next person. So don't even call them out. Just be aware of it and walk away. You know what I mean? I feel like some in some situations, I will let a person know this is why we can't work because some things are worth working on. But when some people are just tricksters and that's all that they are, there is nothing you can do to change that. They'll only learn from what you tell them to sharpen up and be better and trick the next person. So we're not going to do that group number two. You're not going to let them be any wiser. You're just going to take yourself away from the BS, you know? And I feel like too, with our strong intuition and knowing and the download that's, gonna, that's going to be coming to us, starting with this new winter solstice it's like our it's like basically our psychic abilities intuition and things like that will shoot up to next levels and with all that being said you might find that because you are able to see into the bullshit you're able to play chess and make moves that they can't see because you know, like Neo in the Matrix, you knew they were going to fire the gun before they even thought to fire the gun, before they even went into, before they pulled the gun out and put the trigger on it. So you're able to make moves that will benefit yourself because you can see that you're dealing with someone that is dishonest. But at the same time, it's like, like I said, in September or whenever it might be for you nine months from now, but September is what's coming to mind. And whoop, I look down and this is the number nine card. You know, basically nine months from now or September, you know, when the opportunity presents itself to you, it's like you'll be able to see everything. And it's like, this is a great opportunity that you wanna take advantage of because it will add more value to your life. It will benefit your career. You know, it will change things for you you know, and help you to put, help to put you on a path that you've always wanted to be on. But at the same time, it's like the saying, God will allow your enemies to be your footstool. So the kind of people that you're dealing with or will be dealing with might not be, you know, upstanding citizens, might not be people who are too honest, but at the same time, you'll know how to maneuver in the dark. Like you'll know how to swerve them and possibly be this person where it's like you're able to get in there, get the bag. No, you're not being manipulative or taking advantage of anyone, but you could already see what they're doing to make sure you line yourself up so you don't fall for their trap, group number two. Like, I am extremely proud of us, group number two, and the, the psychic upgrade that's coming for us. That's the blessing that's coming for us. Um, group number two. And, you know, like I've told you guys in other videos, I've been able to use my intuition and psychic abilities to help me to make business decisions when I was, you know, doing transactions with men who are knowledgeable in certain areas that I wasn't knowledgeable in. But just using my empathic ability and picking up on their intentions and just feeling their intentions to know, you know, if they thought they were pulling a fast one on me or if they weren't reading their energy to see if they were genuine or if they weren't, you know, I've done things like buy a laptop on Craigslist or an amazing camera on Craigslist for a great price, all because I read the energy of the person who was selling it to see what kind of character is this, you know, and you'll know what kind of character will want to do whatever and then also ask why are you selling it and see if the character and the energy matches up but group number two i am super excited about our upgrade that's coming drop me a number two and a heart in the comment box below if you're still here or drop yeah a number two and the number two and a heart in the comment box to represent two of hearts like this video if you haven't already Subscribe to the channel, share this message, and I look so forward to reading for you in the next video.
Group number three, for those of you who chose the three of hearts, immediately chose choosing the three of hearts card um, says to me that this group, you guys, the blessings and things that's coming into your life will have to do with you giving birth to something new. Um, what I mean by giving birth is, you know, in numerology, the number one is an idea. The number one is also masculine energy, masculine, meaning it's, it's extroverted, it's outward moving. Um, it's creative. It's the beginning. And then the number two is the idea in motion. The number two is the mother. Like the one is the father. The number two is nurturing. It's caring. It's empathetic. The number two nurtures that idea, give birth to it. And it's the number three, which is the creative self-expression. And an example of that might be saying, you know, number one energy, you have an idea. Um, your idea may be to go back to school. Number two energy is the idea in motion. You fill out the applications, you do all the paperwork. The number three energy is the school. You start school. It's something tangible that you can actually touch, feel, relate, um, and experience. And that doesn't have to just be school. It could be a new business. It could be a new home-based business. But you will be giving birth to something new. And immediately with the queen of pentacles on the end, you know, it's going to be something tangible, something that's going to add value in your life. And I'm looking at the bunny here and I'm, I don't know, for some reason, I'm imagining a bunch of little bunnies. So it's like, say you guys have been working on an idea. Um, maybe say you have a home based internet business or something like that. And for the longest, it's like you found yourself having to just just be humble and meditate and relax and hope for the best. And I feel like, you know, when it rains, it pours, but in a good way for you guys, number three, it's like abundance is coming in. I don't know if like how, but large sums of money is coming in. Money that you did not expect is coming into you. But starting at the beginning of the reading, you have the the two of wands in the reverse position. So that tells me that maybe your early past was of you feeling stagnant. It's like things weren't working out in your favor or it just felt like things weren't moving. It's like you didn't know why things weren't moving, but things weren't moving. It's like maybe you did everything you possibly could do, but things just wasn't moving for you. And then the Ace of Cups to me, um, the Ace of Cups is like, it reminds me of like, communion. It's like coming together with others or having an idea, having an intuition and you reflecting on that intuition. It's like, you know, source, creator, God, the universe, whatever you call it, put something in your heart and you meditated on that thing in your heart for a little while. And then you completely put something to an ending, the death card. And the death card to me is a beautiful card to see here because death has to come first before new life can come along. And I'm looking at the bunny jumping out of the corner and I'm thinking about the summer solstice. You know, it's like basically by the end of July, it's like you guys are going to be reaping benefits. I don't know if you are already waiting for something to come through by the end of the July, by the end of July. Say for example, maybe you got into a car accident or you had some kind of a lawsuit or something going on and you've been patiently waiting. And then all of a sudden, boom, in July, that check comes in. It's a check that you didn't expect. It's money that you didn't work for, but it's coming to you. It belongs to you. And when I look at the center of the card, the center of the reading, I, I look at the four of swords and the death card and the four of swords energy to me it just it shows me that throughout everything that's been going on, like you've been extremely patient. And it's like with your patience, it's like basically new change came into your world. And when the new change came into your world, death and endings came into your world. At first, it's like you wanted to jump to conclusions or maybe that's what, what's going to be happening now. It's like you want to jump to conclusions and assume the worst. But right when you're ready to assume the worst, that's when, boom, out of nowhere, blessings, abundance and opportunity comes into your world. Money that you did not expect. 
And because the queen of pentacles is a feminine energy, feminine meaning that it's introverted energy. So it's almost like, basically, I don't feel like you had to do a lot to acquire this money. And with the queen of pentacles here, like, you know, this is a general reading. So it's going to apply differently to everyone else. With the queen of pentacles energy here, like, Maybe someone is going to be gifting you money that you didn't expect. Maybe someone is going to be writing you a check. You know, someone who is very nurturing. It could be a man or a woman. Someone who's very calm in their presence. Um, someone that's not too chatty, not too talkative, but they're a hard worker. Someone that's all about their bag, that's always working hard and trying to ben work things out. But with this Knight of Swords here, I feel like it's important for me to emphasize on this energy and the reason why it's important to emphasize on this energy is because it reminds me of those times when i overreacted so it's like say something didn't go my way so i flip the script and i panic only to wake up the next day and realize that basically i was stressed out the night before for absolutely no reason I was crying for absolutely no reason. I was worrying for absolutely no reason. And in some cases, you know, with my moon in Leo and Mars in my first house or whatever, strong Mars energy, strong Leo moon energy, it's like I might pop off only to feel like, damn, they didn't deserve the cuss out that I just gave them, even though they did deserve it. But at the same time, you know, me being wanting to be someone of example and work on you know controlling not controlling but being aware of my energy and not giving it away it's like after i'll regret going off the way that i did and i feel like that's what will happen here it's like yes you're patiently waiting something appears to come to a complete end so it might be a court case like i said it comes to a complete end boom, automatically you freak out because maybe you don't hear from them right away. Or maybe, um, you know, a job came to an end and you're supposed to be getting some kind of a package deal, some kind of a check to sustain you or something like that. You're waiting on something and it's coming, some kind of a check, some kind of a payment. Something is coming to you and it's something that you didn't have to work that hard for. You didn't have to put a lot of energy in for it you know, but it's coming to you. But the important thing to remember is, you know, whenever that thing comes to an end, don't worry. What's to come to you will come to you. What is yours can only be for you and no one else can take that away from you. And I feel like, yeah, that ties into the three of hearts energy being creative self-expression, something that you can touch, you know, so, and with this money that's coming to you, I feel like if you take your time and, you know, reflect on the ways you can invest it and add value to your life, it's like this money, even if it's a small amount, it's like it can help to change your situation for the future where you don't have to work as hard because you invested it properly. You know, group number three. So what I see coming in for you as far as blessings is finances. And that's awesome because I think of all the groups, you guys were the ones that had money coming in, um, you know, and I mean, money is great and we can all use some money right now. So it's like, that's awesome that you guys have money coming in. If that's something that you were hoping for, I'm happy to be here to let you know that it's coming at least by, by the end of the summer, it's coming to you before summer is over you will get this money that you weren't expecting, some check that you were not expecting. And if it's a business that you guys have been working on, finally, your business will start to, to pay off. Finally, your business will start to have an income, something that you can use to basically pay your bills and buy food for yourself and then put it back into your business to keep going. So it's almost like, you know, I like to tell people, you know, say you have five different and business ideas. It's great to just pick one, pick one because your business is like a child. Um, like the ace energy or biz pick one. Your business is like a child. It's like in the beginning, it's too small 
to be able to take care of itself. So it's like you have to give into it completely. And sometimes it gives nothing back to you. But over time, as your business grows, you know, you're ab it's able to sustain itself, sustain you, and even sustain other businesses in the future to come. So group number three, you know, abundance, material abundance is coming into your reality. Stuff that you can actually touch, feel, you know, with all your senses that you can apply to your reality and make things better for yourself. And with cancer um, being a theme here with Mercury in retrograde in cancer and the new summer and the um, new moon in cancer, basically this means a lot of changes when it comes to the home, the family, the home and family situation and your emotional world. So try not to allow yourself to emotionally spend with this energy. Try not to allow yourself to emotionally invest into your home to decorate and do things that you think is going to make you feel better. Yes, you want to do whatever you need to do to make your home inhabitable and comfortable for you, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to let your emotions get the best of you. Like I said earlier, you can turn around and invest this money, invest what's coming into your life in a way that you create more freedom for yourself. You're able to buy your own time back and have more peace because of it. So group number three, it was a pleasure reading for you. Please drop me the number three and a heart in the comment box below to let me know that you're still here. Like this video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and share if you haven't already. I look so forward to seeing you in the next video.